Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're fixing up the last of the storm damage here for Hurricane Fiona, and we have the top of uh, an actual electrical service that has been bent right over. So we need to remove the top of the 200 amp service. It's a stack that goes through the roof, and we need to replace it. So we're quite surprised here how uh, how much damage and destruction was done by the storm. We knew there was hard hit areas in the province, but this is one of the harder hit ones. Um, so we're going to pull it up through the roof safely with a ladder and then we're going to uh, put the new stack down through. So our worker Jared is going to rip this whole service right up through, um, or try to. Yeah, he's going to pull it up. That is kinked right in half. Wow, look at that. Just gonna zoom in there. If you can only get up so high, sir, um, then we can cut it off if you want. But it is bent. Do you wanna come here and stand? Yeah. You got him? Yeah. Wow. Kinked it right in half. Like a 90 degree bend. The power of trees and storms, eh? You're almost up through there, bud. Yeah, it's just pretty much wider now, just a little bit more fast. You want to cut it off? Might have to. Okay. I don't know what I'll do with the weight when it comes out. So our technician decided we're going to cut it off um, with our, our metal recip just simply because it's too top heavy. So we've got to get that top half of that service on there before we can put the new mast down through. Did you lose the blade? Pliers. <sighs> yep. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to cut the mast off, um, and then we're going to pull the rest of the mast out through, and then put the new one up through, and put the new wires in. Okay, so we've cut a foot off of this 12 foot mast to make it 11 feet. Um, this is the height that's required to have 40 inches through the top of the roof, so we don't need to tie it back, and our overall height is 15 feet from the ground level. Our meter is sitting at 5 feet to the center. Um, I'm going to stand on the bottom of this ladder just to secure this while these guys try to put this mast up through. So the next step, we're going to have to bring the ladder over to the side of the building here to be safe. Um, we're going to set that coupling back together and tighten those three straps up. We're required to have three straps on our 200 amp service. The pipe size on that is uh, two and a half inch by the way. It's a cast service at the top which goes right up through the roof. And then the bottom of it is two inch PVC which goes into the house. So he's going to silicone that down in place the best he can and then run a, run a bead of silicone along the top. So as you can see, we have the flange kit on there. Next, he's gonna go ahead and put the rack on. I've gotten up here on the roof with him. The rack's gonna go on the top there, um, and that's gonna face the service pole. So the service pole is where the triplex uh, from the utility hooks onto to give it support. So he's going to want that note, you want it right up about two inches from the top, sir, right there. And you want to face him right at that pole, which is right over there. And they're going to have to tag. You can see the whole utility line has come down on the ground from the trees. And they're just letting it lay on the ground for now, so they're going to have to come and fix that up. So he's going to tighten that rack down with a pair of pliers. Or a pair of channel locks and make sure it's tight. You've got that on there upside down, man. Oh, shit. Yeah. The whole thing got to get flipped. That's okay. There we go. Right about there. Yeah. Up just a bit. Right there. Yep. Wonderful. 
How do you know it's upside down? How did you know it's upside down? Because there's a there's a cotter pin on the bottom. It's always supposed to go on the bottom. Oh, okay. Pins go. So it doesn't fall out. Right. Fair enough. Okay. Because the top has a like a, a lip on it that holds the porcelain connector in place. Okay. <clears throat> and he's gonna crank her down. So we'll come back to the video in a second and show the conductors being installed. So the next step to this process is we're going to stick uh, all three wires up through and they're sticking out through the top there. So we've started with our white and this is a 250 new all or aluminum conductor on the service to match what was there. And next is going to stick the black up and then we're going to cut it off because we've gotten way too much or they're way too long. So keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. That's good. And cut that one off. And we always put the weather head on last because it gives him the ability to There we go. Uh, we always put the weather head on last because it gives him the ability to move the wires up and down inside the meter base to get them into place. And then the weather head goes on the top. That's a, a pro tip that we do. Um, makes things quite a bit easier. Journeyman secret, we should say. And a third wire is going up through now. So this is a single phase, two hots and a neutral. Keep it going, keep it going. <coughs> That's good. And we're gonna cut that one off. You make some faces, Jared. <laughs> Is that your sex face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll get down and get closer. So I guess I'm gonna do, put the neutral yeah, first. Yeah, do the neutral first. So inside the box, we have the neutral. He's gonna shove up on it, put some antiox on it or some antioxidizer, which, grab, which were required here in Canada. He's gonna grab his gloves so he doesn't get it all over his hands. Put the lug kit in place. All right. Probably should shove back on that before you. Yeah. Right there above your finger and make sure you get it all over your fingers. <laughs> get screw backed off enough? Oh, I got completely off. Oh, I always struggle with this. Must just be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here, I'll hold in on it. You start it. It's not sitting right back in there the way it should. Yeah, maybe it needs to be bent a little and bit. No, it needs to come up about just a tiny bit. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, that changes everything. See? There we go. I'm gonna get the screw in place and then he's gonna torque that down with the Allen keys. And then once we torque this first time, we're gonna come back around the second time. This aluminum can tend to be really soft. Um, that's not loose, is it? The wire? No. Okay, so we've tied the top of the meter base in. Um, neutral in the middle, two hots on each side. They're all full of antiox and we've torqued them down. On the top of the service, I went up. I didn't want to drop the camera, that's why I didn't take it with me. Um, and I put the top of the weather head on. Now I face the back of the weather head away from the rack. And the reason I do this is because it's easier for the line crew to make a, a drip loop when they go to hook the top of the service up. That's pretty much it. So guys, there you have it. That's it for today. Um, never, for, uh, never. Oh. So guys, there you have it. That's it for today. Always remember never to do your own electrical work. Always check in your local with your local licensed electrician. Uh, when it comes to a service entrance like this, they're going to have to do it for you anyway. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. All right. A little bit of extra.